Hey guys, my name is Frost, and today I'm going to be telling you guys how to win over McCready really, really fast, and it's not going to involve you um, changing your entire character for it. Um, a lot of times, some of the companions require you to actually act a certain way, um, and say if you're playing a good character, and this companion likes you being an asshole, maybe you don't want to roll that way, but you still want that companion's story and or perk. Um, now, the perk that we're going to be going after today is McCready's, um, who is... Honest to God, I think he has the best perk in the entire game, um, even considering the perk tree that we have available to us. The reason why is because it makes Vats um, useful again. <laughs> I did hear it's kind of glitched. Um, it's supposed to give you 20% more accuracy when going for a headshot in Vats, which is already amazing but it's actually glitched where you're always going to get a headshot and if you have and if you ever miss it's not because you didn't hit your target it's because your target was behind cover all right so before we get into the glitch mccready is actually located in good neighbor if you've never been to that place and you're like what the hell is that don't worry you haven't played enough of the story um, and you'll eventually get to that place if you do not know where it is here it is on the map um, in case you don't want to jump into the story yet, and you just want to have this companion. That's completely reasonable. Anyway, so he is down in the bar, and as soon as you get down to the bar, down the stairs, he is to the right, or in this room. Boom. Um, now, I'm not going to spoil anything. Basically, just go in there, listen to some chatter. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. Um, and then, eventually, he's going to ask you if you want to hire him. Now, you're going to have to hire him, and depending on how much charisma you have, you might be able to persuade him to bring the price down. Um, but all in all, just pay 200 caps, that's pretty much chump change if you're pretty in the game, and if you're planning on playing Fallout, you're gonna get absorbed, and you're gonna make tons of cash, don't even worry about it, dude, it's 200 caps. And he might give you it back when he likes you enough, just saying. Okay, Okay. so now that you have that companion, here's how you make him like you really, really fast. The fastest way to make any companion like you it belongs to McCready, which thank God, because he's kind of a douchebag. <laughs> anyway, it's not a douchebag so much as a rough mercenary dude so I'm doing air quotes so you guys can't see it it's fine here you go <laughs> alright so before we actually get into the companion guide I'm gonna be telling you guys how to level them up really quickly because I imagine that's why you guys are here um, so again this is not gonna re require you to like you know change your character there's no karma system in this game anyway but still how people perceive you is definitely a real thing in this game um, anyway, so how you're gonna do this? All right, so I am going to say this right now. If you have any problem with stealing, then you're gonna have to do this the good old-fashioned way, which essentially is just um, doing what McCready likes, which we will talk about later in the video. Being kind of violent, being the general kind of mercenary player. Um, anyway, so what you're gonna need to do for this um, is you're going to need a stolen item. I got my stolen item from Good Neighbor. Um, it can be whatever you want. Mine was duct tape. Um, now, if you are on console, I would suggest doing this in a room um, with no one observing you. <laughs> so you're gonna have to be hidden when you do this. Um, not taking the item, just in general. Anyway, so the thing, the method that we're gonna be using is we're basically going to be doing something that McCready likes over and over and over again really, really fast. Um, now, this makes McCready the fastest companion to level, in my opinion, um, because you can milk it so well. <laughs> um, anyways, so again, you're going to need a stolen item, you're going to need a location where you can be hidden, even if your hidden skills are shit, just find a room that's empty and... You know, make sure it's hidden when you pick up the stolen item. Now, there is a cooldown on the, the stealing factor. Like, you can't just pocket a bunch of stolen items and then you're done. That's not how it actually works. There's a cooldown period. So how we're going to do this is we're going to kind of mess with the game. So you've already found your location that makes you hidden. Now you're going to drop your stolen item that you acquired. And now you're going to pick it up. Now, if you do not get any like points, then that means the timer hasn't refreshed. So how we're going to refresh the timer is we're going to reload a save. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a save right now. As soon as you have your location, you're in it, McCready's with you and your party. That's kind of obvious, but yes, he needs to be with you. Anyways, so you're going to make a save right wherever you are, and then you're going to load that save. Now what that's going to do is that's going to erase the timer, that, that cooldown factor. So then you're going to drop the stolen item, pick it up again. It's going to say McCready like that. Then you're going to drop a save, and then you're going to repeat that process. Just load the save that you just made. What it's doing essentially is just destroying the timer. Because uh, you're loading a new save, the timer doesn't realize it's there anymore, so you're able to do it right over again. Now, again, the reason why I suggested um, for people in console to do this in um, a room is because I'm on PC and it happens in seconds, but for loading screens for you, maybe a bit longer. But I would say this is the best way and the fastest way to level up a companion. Um, again, uh, you're going to be stealing things, but I really like in Fallout 4, um, the karma system is is viewed by the people who are seeing you. So, for instance, um, a person on the other side of the planet may think you're a saint, um, but another person that's um, in the town that you just slaughtered uh, thinks you're a monster, but the person over there thinks you're fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, your perception is in the eyes of each individual NPC, which I think is awesome. Um, so, again, if you go somewhere where no one's going to see you, but McCready, McCready is going to be the one that's being affected by this like points. 
buy these like points. Uh, do not do this in your base, especially if you have Pepper or uh, Valentine in near you, because they're going to hate that. And you're not going to want to negate their likeness to you. Anyways, um, so that's how you do it. Essentially, to repeat, um, find a location that you can be hidden in, drop the stolen item, pick it up, make a save, load the save, drop the item, drop the item, pick up the item, make a save, load the save, drop the item, pick up the item, make a save, load the save, drop the item, pick up the item, make a save, load the save. <laughs> it's just like that. Um, and boom, eventually McCready is going to ask you to do a quest. Now I am pretty sure that you need to do that quest in order to get any more affinity with him um, or likeness points, whatever you want to call it. Um, so basically, make sure you do the quest or else it's going to put a bumper on your like points. So basically, so you'll do this quite a bit and it'll be worth nothing because the those like points don't matter anymore because you he has a quest that needs to open that next level to your friendship up I guess <laughs> me trying to make sense of it in my head but yeah guys that's essentially how you grind up McCready really really fast um, now the next part of the video is essentially just gonna be pointing out McCready's bonuses and also some negatives to him all right so the archetype of weapon that McCready actually specializes in is snipers um, now there is this bug with cure and McCready but I'm pretty sure it's any I'm not trying to say his name by the way <laughs> if you guys are like that's not how you say it you're probably right anyways um so there is this bug with i think every companion um where it's kind of a it's like a little tweak in their in their settings i'm not sure how you how it gets activated but essentially it's where your companions will constantly pick up other guns and use them above the gun that you gave them even if you equip them with the gun that you gave them um so for instance i was playing with mccready i gave him an amazing sniper rifle made sure he had ammo for it all that good stuff but he never used it. He always uses his hunting rifle. Really weird. Um, I think it's also has to do with their AI. Um, when you're in a close quarters map, he's not going to want to use a sniper rifle, um, especially with something with high accuracy because he's going to want to use something like a shotgun, something that's good for close range. Um, so in that case, I probably would just suggest giving him a melee weapon and then a sniper, just so it can either be one or the other because a middle ground... I wouldn't suggest. Their AI kind of gets fucked over a little bit. With a sniper rifle, you know at least he's going to be able to hit his target one from far away. Um, but with a melee weapon, you know he's definitely going to be able to reach his target and hit it. So, again, you shouldn't go middle ground because I think the AI has a seizure just from personal preference and or me seeing that not work. <laughs> As of him being the new boon, um, don't really think that's a thing. Um, the AI right now is not... Um, New Vegas, good, because <laughs> New Vegas really had awesome companions, they knew how to shoot the enemy, they knew how to put pressure on the enemy, they knew how to take down enemies, <laughs> whereas some of the companions in Fallout kind of get messed up by their AI and can't even get to their target. Um, bleh. Anyways, so yes, yeah, give him a sniper, that's his best, um, but again, like I said in my Kate video, definitely consider giving them a melee weapon and power armor. Now, the reason why I say power armor as well is because one, power armor increases their carrying capacity, which is awesome, and also, you don't even have to give them, like, armor, you can just give them the bionic uh, suit if you want, which is the exoskeleton under the power armor. Anyways, um, plus you don't need to give them any fuel cells, it's amazing. But <laughs> strength also affects their melee damage. So when you give them a power armor, you also give them a pretty good uh, melee damage buff. So it's pretty much lines them in the same category as a tank, which is perfect for a companion. By the way, probably should have covered this a little bit sooner, but your playstyle, that's really important, especially in Fallout, and especially with the massive choices that you can make. Um, if you are playing a mercenary type character, then this character is for you, McCready. By that, I mean he likes it when you get violent. Now, the, his violence that he likes is provoked violence. So if you're just outright a monster, like you just say, hey, I'm gonna kill everyone in this vault, he is not gonna like that. But say if you're talking to some raider and he talks shit to you, um, you you're gonna snap. He likes that. He doesn't like you kind of rolling over, um, to say the least. Um, and yeah, boom. So uh, to retaliate when it is needed. He does not like peacefulness though. So if you do want to be peaceful, probably not the character for you. Um, Cure is definitely the companion for you. She is lovely. She is a robot. Kind of, it's 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 kind of tricky. Anyways, ooh, fun fact about McCready, he was actually in Fallout 3. If you have played Fallout 3 before, um, there was this little town ruled by kids that you probably came across. He was the sniper slash kind of a douchebag kid <laughs> that was rather rude. But hey, um, when you hear um, McCready's story in Fallout 4, throughout his kind of quest in Fallout 4, um, it's really cool. He talks about how this town made up of kids um, was the only place that was safe because they couldn't trust adults, which makes complete sense considering slavery, raiders, and all all that other shit existed makes complete sense that they can only depend on themselves anyways doesn't really make sense why he was a da asshole to you but i mean yeah <laughs> he was an asshole he was just kind of a prick <laughs> like he never tried to befriend you yeah by the way mccready will also gift to you ammunition i'm talking like two fusion cells which is not great but what can you do it's an it's something you know 
It's better than fucking bubblegum, Piper. <laughs> Damn. Piper is great, I'm not saying, okay. Also, McCready likes it when you get more money for doing quests, but he does not like it when you go full carnal. <laughs> he likes it when you um, get through the first two speech checks, um, but when it's in the red, when you get to like the final, because there's three levels of getting more money, he doesn't like it when you go to the final one, the third one, uh, the red, red one, uh, because he doesn't like it when you're, at that point, you're kind of just money gouging, and that's not okay with him. But just like Kate, he does like it when you get your money for your time. He also likes it when you join the Minutemen. So like I said, um, McCready is kind of a um, mercenary slash criminal, I guess you could call it. So again, lockpicking, owned, <laughs> owned doors he likes. Um, again, stealing, which is what we're going to be doing in the glitch if you guys didn't already see that, which I think you did. But the one thing that McCready does like that goes against everything that you've kind of been learning about at this point um, is he likes it when you help children or parents because um, he was he was a part of that town of kids, so he likes it when you're actually lending them a hand, and also parents, because he is a parent, and he's going through, I don't want to spoil anything, anyways. <laughs> so yeah, whenever there's a mission that involves you helping kids, or helping a parent out, regardless of what the nature of the quest is, definitely choose to help them out at any cost, and probably don't ask for money, you probably won't like that. <laughs> McCready does not like it when you side with the Brotherhood, or side with the Railway, um, railroad, sorry. <laughs> also, he hates, not dislikes, hates when you get caught committing a crime. So basically, he's a mercenary criminal with a heart of gold. Kind of, to a certain extent. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Boom. So those are his likes and dislikes. If you do not want to do the one way um, of stealing the duct tape or whatever stolen item over and over and over again, then yeah, don't, uh, don't do that. Then yeah, don't do that and just do that. Basically, play as a mercenary and make sure you help out kids and he likes it when you join the Minutemen, so make sure he's a part of your companionship when you're actually doing that and yada yada yada, boom boom boom. Alright guys, so um, like I said beforehand, um, power armor and melee, how I honestly would max this character out and build him and make him a very badass character and good for you um, is again, same thing with Kate. Give him power armor, give him a melee weapon, and you're pretty much golden. They're a good bullet sponge. They, uh, or maybe a sniper instead of a melee weapon, he might use that better, but there's no reason for them not to have power armor, I think, personally. So yeah, guys, definitely go get this companion, even if you don't really like him, which honestly, I don't really, I'm not a fan, um, I don't hate him, I like his story, I like how he kind of seems like your friend at the end of the deal, but again, I don't like the fact that he's... He doesn't like it when you take the moral high ground, which I, that's what I do in my character, I'm playing a good character, when I play a bad character, it's probably gonna be for me. Anyways, alright guys, so that brings us to the end of the video. I just want to let you guys know that I did do a, um, a let's play with Will doing his entire quest line. Um, so I will link that in the ending credits, which may be up already, which is kind of like that end screen. Anyways, um, yeah, just hit next time if you guys do want to see that. Maybe you're not really sure about the companion. Maybe you just want to hear his story and you don't really care about, you know, grinding him out. Whatever. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to check that out, it's right there. Also, I made another guide on Kate. Um, there's going to be maybe a playlist link in the description which it was basically that just like all the companion guides i've made which thus far is two with this one counting as well uh kate and mcready mc 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 mcready is it okay whatever his name is boom <laughs> anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching as always my name is frost and later guys